Hey everyone, all of these pictures are from a Cambridge wedding in late September. It was held at Sydney Sussex College in the centre of the city. It's the college opposite Sainsbury's supermarket and the FOP record store. I'm sure that's how everyone at the 400 year old college describes its location. It was a big, beautiful and emotional wedding day that had been rescheduled several times over the past couple of years because of the pandemic. It finally taking place added to the happiness of the occasion. I used two Fuji X-T4 cameras with the 56mm f1.2 lens and the original 23mm f1.4. There's a video that I spent so much time writing and taking photos for this year that you haven't seen. It talks about how I finally let go of my DSLRs that I'd been photographing weddings with for many years. It's an epic tale, or maybe just an epic list, of my frustrations in moving to Nikon mirrorless for weddings. Put simply, I tried it and it wasn't for me. With many weddings still in my diary, I came to feel that I didn't want to use either my old DSLRs or the new mirrorless cameras that I'd bought. I really felt quite lost, and the happy routine of many years at weddings had been broken. In the uncertainty that this created, I turned to my Fujis to see me through the wedding season. I've talked before about how I would often take a Fuji along to weddings as a third fun camera. I've been doing that for nearly a decade now, so could hardly be more familiar with their pros and cons and lovable quirks. However, partly out of habit, partly out of a love for the optical viewfinder and utterly reliable autofocus of the old Nikons, I never let the Fujis be my A cameras. That all changed towards the end of this busy wedding season and I really enjoyed the experience. Using the 56mm and 23mm lenses, it was the same 35-85 setup that I've used with full frame cameras since I started photography. So in terms of seeing the world, I felt completely at home. Also, because the Fuji lenses are so small, it's easy to keep a couple of spare lenses in my camera bag on the day, and that adds a sense of security and flexibility. I was really happy with these pictures, and I think this portrait is one of my favourites of the year. I have barely any recollection of taking it. I must have been in the zone at the time. I remember finding it when I first looked through the images and being surprised by it and wondering where it had come from. It's taken with the 56mm at f2.8 and in my eyes it has an organic sharpness that brings it to life. I used the classic negative simulation for that picture, but for nearly all of the other photos here I used the classic chrome preset in Lightroom. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions about weddings, Fuji cameras or Sainsbury's supermarket, I'll be very happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks for subscribing and for your thumbs being up. See you all very soon.